we still have our basic background setup from the last lesson. In this lesson, we want to try and create a setup that allows us to fade into a pip on the top left in two seconds on a go command and to fade out again on a second go. The tricky bit with this task is that at this time our timeline runs and it seems we can't change it once it runs. What we will have to do now is to create a second sequence, which means that in a second we will go to the project tree on the top left and there to the sequence folder to right click in order to create a sequence. This new sequence gets selected automatically and now we want to work a little bit with our second sequence timeline. We have to keep in mind that layer 1 and 2 are already being used, which means that we have to use a free layer for our picture-in-picture -picture or pip. Let's just choose number 34. We now want to create a pip. Let's grab a test picture and, you know the drill by now, get it on the layer, fade up the opacity and now scale the pic so that it can be used as a pip and let's position it on the top left. We will now lower the opacity because we want to have a two second fade in and we'll save it onto the timeline on sequence 2. Plus 200 on the sequence for our next fade in, get the opacity up again and store active. We also want to create another fade out, which means we continue another two seconds and then we'll get the opacity to zero and store it to the timeline. At this point, we will create two pause cues. And because we want to be able to select and execute these go commands again and again, we should create an additional cue, which is gonna be a jump cue, which will make it possible to jump back to the beginning of the clip. So first of all, we create the pause cues. followed by a jump cue that obviously needs an appropriate jump target. As you can see, it jumps back right to the beginning. Please note that you can right click and rename the sequences. we are going to call our first sequence main show and the second sequence PIP and now we have created a fade in to a PIP and also created a fade in and fade out control 